everyone, thanks for catching up with us. I'm LaVon Harvey, and we're coming at you from Farmville, Virginia, and we're giving you an exclusive tour of Longwood University, where green plus red equals blue. Okay, let me explain. Students of an even graduating class are red, and students of an odd graduating class are green. And when they come together, they make blue, which is a school color. And with that being said, let's get going on our tour. Longwood University sits in the center of Virginia in a friendly community close to Richmond. We've got bowling, we've got you know bars, we've got places to go dancing, we've got groups that just get together off campus, we've got beautiful green spaces, there's now rails to trails so you can take yourself biking, you can take yourself hiking, we've got a skateboarding park in walking distance of the campus, there's a beautiful lake for fishing just a little while away, there's a big kayaking uh, area, so you can do just as much as you want to be, you can do it, be as busy as you want to be. Longwood's residential campus counts 60 self-contained acres of land with a Palladian architecture and the sweet style of Thomas Jefferson. Okay, so I see you have lots of unique artwork on campus. You know, can you tell me about this? Yeah, um, this is um, actually a two-headed rubber ducky. Um, we have some really cool pieces of artwork um, throughout campus. The Longwood Center for Visual Arts um, actually works with senior art students, and they get to pick which pieces of art they want on campus. It's rotating. So there's always new pieces of art that get put in. Oh, okay, very yeah. interesting. And then the artists will come here and talk about the piece of art. It's really cool. So tell me, uh, what are the traditions you guys have on campus here? Well, Longwood has been around since 1839, so we have so many traditions. And one of my favorites is color wars. When you come into Longwood, if you come in on an odd year, you're a green class. And if you come in on an even year, you're red class. Oh, okay. And then around um, October, for our Oktoberfest, um, we have a color wars, where people stand on either side with their colors. Um, green class on one and red side on the other, and we have buckets of paint, and we just throw them on each other. Wow. Yeah, it is so much fun, and who, whichever color is most represented wins color wars. And then afterwards, we run through the jumping fountain. <laughs> you want to go try it out? Well, I want to try it out. <laughs> yeah, it's tradition. You got to do it. Hey, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll say that for you. Okay, okay. Well, you can come back in October. I Check will. it out. <laughs> Make sure you pay Joni on the Stony a visit for good luck. She's the patron saint of Longwood. And hey, prospective students, they say if you rub her hands, you'll have a better chance of getting accepted when you apply. Longwood has about 4,700 students, total from 25 states and foreign countries. 35% of the student body is male and 11% are minorities. The student to faculty ratio is 19 to one and the average class size is 26. For admitted students this year, the average GPA was a 3.4. The average SAT range was between 1,000 and 1,150. Okay, so that kind of gives you a ballpark of, of who, the kind of students we have and that we attract. Virginia residents can expect to pay an annual tuition cost of about $15,500, including the cost of fees, room, and board. Non-residents will pay closer to $24,000. LU offers 100 majors, minors, and concentrations through three colleges plus graduate and extended studies. A few student favorites are business, communication studies, sciences, and education. Elliot's teaching program has been accredited for 50 years and will definitely put you ahead of the game. And as an education student, you'll spend four days each week teaching at a local school. And you can call me Mr. Hart. We have a mandatory internship. Every student has to participate in at least a one credit internship. In our department, it's a three credit internship opportunity, which gives them an opportunity to engage in their in their chosen discipline in a meaningful way that oftentimes translates into uh, a career path for them. Internships run the gamut of um, anything from environmental work uh, to uh, working with some kind of wildlife agency, uh, wildlife or environmental agency, to uh, the healthcare realm. Longwood employs 210 full-time faculty members. 93% have terminal degrees. Stop by Longwood's greenhouse to get a free guided tour. They have a whole bunch of crazy plant species. My favorite are these carnivorous pitcher plants. Inside of them they have water. So when the bugs get caught, that's a free meal for this plant. Awesome. The Longwood Lancers compete in 14 varsity NCAA Division I sports teams. Longwood offers a wide range of on-campus suite-style residence halls as well as university-managed off-campus apartments, all with clubhouses that include fitness and recreation options. Get involved in 125 clubs and organizations at Longwood, including Greek Life. There's two things that I've found that Longwood has that really not a lot of other colleges have, is uh, secret societies. Uh, we have Kai and Print Caps here at Longwood. Kai is uh, 
once a month they'll have a Kai walk where nobody really knows who's in Kai until uh, senior year they reveal during their Kai burning at the end of the year. And then Print Caps is another secret society which kind of promotes uh, leadership. And again, nobody knows who's in it until uh, graduation. Hope you guys had as much fun as we did in our campus tour of Longwood University. This is such a beautiful campus and such a welcoming community. I really wish I could stay longer, but it's now time for me to go. So for University TV, I'm LeVon. Catch you next time. Go Lancers. Yes! Yes!